Hi everyone, Kelly here with my boys, Jamal Usman. So, <laughs> today I'm only going to be showing my whips. And it's going to be a quick video because obviously the boys are here. So we're just, just going to do the works in progress. So the first one I'm going to show you is, is, a, <laughs> is a project that I'm really hating working on. I'm loving the wool. I'm loving the needles that I'm using. I like the way the um, shawl's working. I hate working it. I just really don't like working it. I think it's the, the construction because you start off dead small and... I'll show you anyway, but it's the layer shawl by Tammy Go. It's nothing to do with the pattern. The pattern's pretty cool. Like I say, I love um, looking at it and I love how it's turning out. I just think, because I've only really made crescent shawls, I think that that's just kind of my jam now. So, here we are. I've nearly finished it. So I'm doing it in 100% alpaca from Drops. So it's in the pearl mix and the darker green colour. Oh wait, I'm dropping live stitches. I've missed one but there we go. Hi guys. So yeah, I think because you start off there and then you work up and it just seems like it's taking forever. I would rather work the really long rolls and have less rolls to work up. But this, it seems like you've just got tons and tons of rolls. And then it feels like you're not really getting anywhere. And I don't like that, but I really do like this wool. Um... And on my haul video, you'd have seen that I got the different colour pink. So I'm thinking of doing a blustery shawl in that. I'm just... One second, darling. Yeah. No problem. I want to do a video. Yeah, but after the video is done, you're saying. Okay. Not me. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to leave you up here, am I? Right. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm loving this shop wool and, and I really want to see what it's going to work up like in the blustery shawl. So that's that one. See yeah, that's on my 4mm zings and the wool drops our pack of mitt. It's working out so good and these are the second 50 gram balls in the shawl so it doesn't take up a lot at all. I'm going to have loads left over because I've only got maybe 10-12 more rows. Oh cheers. I want it. Okay. Right the next one was just a quick project when I was a bit bored. And also, I needed something fast to work on for um, Sean's live streams. So this isn't any pattern at all, except for just a basic hat. So just a basic kid's hat. In, it's got no label. I don't know where it's from. It feels like all acrylic. Are you acrylic. making me a hat? One second. Well, you're not having a pink hat, are you? Can I thought you were going to have that rainbow yarn, that carrot cake. I want rainbow yarn. Oh, okay. So this is probably going to go in one of the charity bags because I've got no idea who's going to have it. I just one second, sweetie, one second. Brown and blue. Okay. <laughs> I think he missed me when he was at nursery this morning. It's his first day back after holidays. So yeah, I'm doing this on my 5mm, I did do it on a circular, um, but to do the top part, I didn't want to do magic loop, so I'm just doing DPMs. Yeah, I think it's in chunky, so I'm doing it in 6mm needles. You do it, sweetie, or ask Jamal, I'm busy. No, I'm busy. 
<laughs> right, we'll just wait until we're finished, okay? Yeah? Or just be patient, you know, it's very slow. Right, the next one is a pair of socks for my mum. And I'm also hoping to enter them into... Um, K from Crazy Sock, La Crazy Sock Lady Podcast. So this is the fleece box socks. Free pattern on Ravelry. By um, Audrey Nicklin. It's really good pattern. It's my first time ever doing colour work. But I've kind of hit a slump with it. Right, so the white is just a no-name acrylic four ply from the market. The black and the blue are both drop stable sock wool. Drop stable. And they are 75% wool, 25% polyamide. 50 grams, 205 meters, which is 224 yards. Um, and I really like the way these are working up, but for some reason, I've I've only just started the cuff on the second, but I kind of don't want to go any further. <laughs> I think I've just kind of hit a rut, and it's got in for me because. I'm dying to work on more socks. I need to work on loads more socks so I can hit my 52 for the year. 52 pairs. But now, I don't know, I've just kind of hit a slump with this. Don't hit your brother, please. But it's my first ever time doing colour work. So I am well happy with that. And it's pretty easy as well. Um, let me show you. My floats. No, no, I feel like I'm. I don't know how floats are supposed to go. I've not really had a colour work jumper or anything, not even from the shop. But I kind of feel like they look okay. Not I don't know. What do they look like to you? I think they look okay. I've got nothing to compare it against. So. I don't know if I'm doing it too tight or too loose. But anyway, that's that. Like I say, I have really only just started the other cuff. And I think I did that about a week and a half ago and just put it down. So, it's not really like me with socks, but hey-ho. Um... And my last yeah. work in progress, don't have many this time around, do I? Is just, no. I call it my project board. I just do it when I'm bored. Will you get down, please? What's man? Right, so I'm doing this on 4.5mm crochet hook, knit pro waves. Four ply style craft. Special yeah, in cream. Oh, Chill out, okay? Mama, nearly finished. Nearly, it's nearly your turn. Yeah. Jamal's doing crochet and he's dying to show you. So, Star Pro Special 4 ply in cream. Knit Pro, uh, Knit Global Orange Sock Yarn. I've lost the ball band. Um. But I think it's a 75 wool, 25 nylon. And I'm just doing a long infinity scarf. As far as the wool will take me. And that's my board. I oh, sat downstairs and I need to put it away quickly to sort the kids out if they're messing about projects. And that's it for now. Um... One does the World Asia Cali starting up in a few days, so I love I'm you. kind of I love you. I love you too. So Fatima, she's she's doing a kind of two prong thing. So one's gonna be Amigurumi's because that's Asia themed. It's from Japan, um, and the other one is just anything using Asia yarn or pattern. So, because I've been saying that I want to do amigurumi this year, I'm going to do some amigurumi. So, I've saved a couple of patterns 
Um, and I also have the pattern that Shan gifted to me. So I'm going to try and get all them done this month. Well, month of March. And then I think I'm going to do... I've got two more yarns from my yarn story call. So I want to do two pairs of socks for the cal as well. Um, the other parts of the cal... The other places i've not really done anything for africa because i didn't see anything that took my fancy so i just wanted to work on the projects that i was working on and the australian one i was dead excited about but then i ended up being really overwhelmed there was just so many designers in i couldn't pick and then i just needed a hat for jamal the next day so i just got flustered and found the easiest australian pattern that i could find and then felt really guilty because I felt like I cheated and um, just doing a pattern in like a couple of hours and entering it. So this one, because I had this very special yarn from Joan, I've been so excited for this month to come up because I really want to use them. And I did want to save doing <coughs> um, the shawl with the two pinks. I'll show you that on my next defos. Oh, I've already shown it, yeah. The pink bluster is shawl. Um, you'd have definitely seen it on Instagram if you're on there anyway. I was going to save that for this, Cal. I just couldn't. So, yeah, I'm dead excited for that to come up. And that is it from me. You can find me on Ravara. I'm Yarn Inspired. You can find me Instagram. I'm Yarn Inspired. Um, I have got a Facebook now, but I've not put anything on it. I've only got the Facebook, so, um, an Instagram friend of mine, Jackie, she told me about the place called Truly Hooked, and they sometimes sell, um, packages or yarn boxes through the Facebook, so I only got it for that, but if you want to have me on there, that's fine, it's just Kelly Robinson. Now, I think Jamal wants to speak to you. Yeah. You ready? Hi. <laughs> Are you shy? Yeah. <laughs> well, why don't you show everyone what you've learned? Have you learned to do the foundation chain? Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you show everyone what you've just done while we've been sat here? Because we went to the shop and we bought you your own wool, didn't we? Yeah. And is that what you're using? Yeah. So using one of, I've given this project bag, and this wool gets very, very naughty. Save my, save. But this is his wool anyway, but he picked out himself from Pound Stretcher, wasn't it? It's called Wonderknit. And you like the greens on it and all the different colours, didn't you? Yeah, because I like different colours. You do like different colours. He's addicted to rainbows and everything multicoloured. No, Osman, you've got your own wool, darling. Osman's just being naughty. He's been a bit silly, isn't he? So why don't we show everyone your foundation chain that you've been working on? Because I think that's very special, isn't it? We should start in another one up here. So whenever he's bored and I'm cooking or doing whatever and he carries his little project bag round to every room, he's 